This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, March 9th, 2010. I'm your host, Peter Bush. In the Finis Monitor today, we'll talk to South African Olympic swimmer Reich Neithling. And later in the show, we'll announce our performance of the week. First, let's get to Reich Neithling. The Olympic gold medalist is not competing much anymore, but he's still heavily involved in the sport in his native South Africa. This past weekend, he helped organize a swimathon to raise awareness for South Africa's Learn to Swim program. The event did not go exactly as planned, but still a success in many ways. And Reich joins us right now in the Finis Monitor. Reich, it's been a long time. Nice to see you. Good to talk to you too, Peter. All right, tell us about the swimathon. I guess uh, Mother Nature played a part. Uh, yeah, Peter. You know, there's been a lot of drownings in South Africa in the last three or four months, and um, the swimathon was you know was done to to create some awareness and also to raise some funds uh, for the Learn to Swim program in South Africa. And uh, unfortunately, didn't we didn't break the record like we wanted to because of lightning, um, a typical uh, a typical South African you know, storm. But um, but the but the yeah you know, there was. There was a lot of you know, publicity you know, around the event, and I think uh, it achieved its goals. So right now, are you guys trying to create a foundation for you know the next generation, more and more people who can uh, who can be competitive swimmers and you know help take the country to a new level? Well, I think you know I think that's going to be um, that's definitely going to be a spin-off from it. But to be honest with you, it's just to teach people how to be water set. I mean, there's you know there's so many. Um, People that are just drowning every year, and it's you know it's a big concern. More people, um, you know, the middle class is growing, and there's more pools, and uh, it's just uh, you know, accidents that can be prevented. And and out into the out into the rural communities and the dams and rivers. Um, so that's really what it was about. All the money raised was going to go to portable pools that they would you know they're going to send into the rural communities, um, and they'll have like little clinics where they can just teach people how to be water safe, how to float. Uh, obviously, the more people you get to learn how to swim, maybe you'll get some champions eventually, but uh, it, you know, it's very basic. Well, you've got a swim school down there. Tell us about what you do. Yeah, I've got two swim schools. I've got one uh, up in Pretoria and one in Cape Town. And uh, yeah, we do about a thousand kids uh, you know, per week. Uh, it's grown really fast. We've only been open for about eight months. Uh, the demand is is unbelievable, and uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's something that I saw all my competitors do: Gustavo Borges in you know, in Brazil, Michael Klim, uh, you know, Trent Bray in New Zealand, and uh, and it's you know, it's been very successful. And you have some uh, some big names that help you out down there. Yeah, I mean, I've got um, I've also got a you know, my own swim club. Uh, it's called Players Academies, and uh, you know. You know some of the members. You know we've got Cameron Fennenberg who swims for us. Uh, you know Lyndon Ferns. We got George Durant, um, Chanel van Bake, and uh, I think one of the biggest coups has been Kirsty Coventry. She just moved down to South Africa, and she ha and she's helping us with coaching. So we've got a great coaching staff as well, and uh, you know giving the kids in South Africa um, something that I certainly didn't have when I swam in South Africa. It is uh, it's college swimming time of year up here in the states, and you were one of the most accomplished NCAA swimmers of all time. Nine individual championships. Uh, what do you miss about college swimming? Um, well, you know I haven't been to NCAA uh, men's championships since since 2000, so I'm itching to go back and just to go to go watch. Uh, you know I follow. All the you know all the conference championships you know online um, you know as soon as I wake up in the morning uh, before practice you know half past four I'm I'm on the internet uh, you know checking out results so uh, it's something that I'll always be passionate about and uh, and you know this year is looking uh, you know pretty good for the Wildcats and it's going to be a close race. You uh, you know you also had some great success bringing South Africa, along with other swimmers like Roland Schumann, to a new level in international swimming. Where do, you, uh, where do you see your country in 2012? I mean, can they have another competitive relay, or was that uh, just a one-time thing for you guys? Uh, you know, it's, I mean, we're such a small country, and, and you know, to be competitive in a relay, you really need depth. And we were very lucky to have four, four really good swimmers. Um, it's going to be hard to 
to duplicate it in the four by one hundred. But um, the four by two hundred is you know looking really good. Uh, you know, Darian has been swimming uh, you know really well. Obviously, Jean Masson. Uh, we've got a boy down here in South Africa who, who you're going to hear you know about a lot. Um, Chad Leclo, and then Sebastian Rousseau, who's who, uh, who's a freshman at Florida. Um, so um, and then there's some other guys knocking on the door as well. So I think that's going to be a good relay. And but you know there's you know there's so much talent. Uh, we've got we've got we've got a lot of obstacles that we have to overcome as far as the you know the infrastructure uh, facilities. Uh, and it's a long way away from any kind of you know good racing. So it's expensive to you know to be competitive. But um, in two years' time, I'm sure we'll have a pretty good team in London. Do you ever think about coming back? <laughs> I swam a 50 fly the other day with about uh, 800 meters of training per week, at, um, and I went at 24.4, um, so um, not too bad for old men. Maybe I'll swim the Masters World Championships in Sweden, but um, no, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll leave the, the fast swimming for my guys uh, you know, that I'm coaching. All right, it's good to talk to you, and best of luck with everything you're doing down there. Thanks a lot, Peter. Cheers. All right, that's Reich Needling joining us from South Africa, and we will have your performance of the week right after this break. Northwestern University. Exceptional academic opportunities. Two beautiful lakefront campuses. A collaborative community. Lifelong friendships. Northwestern University. Performance of the Week Award this week goes to none other than Michael Phelps. He broke his own American record in the 200-yard butterfly at the Maryland State Age Group Championships on Sunday. Phelps swam a 139.65, just five hundredths under his previous record that he set four years ago. Phelps also came close to the American records in the 200 and 400 IMs. Congratulations, Michael Phelps. You won our Performance of the Week Award. And that's it for the show today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.